everyone. I'm back. It's been a while. We've been super, super swamped. Anyways, I wanted to show you a few things that I have here. The first thing will be I brought back the coconut lime soap, which is this soap. And it smells really good. If you like coconut and you like lime, you'll really like this. I brought that back for, um, I had several people ask for that, both local and online. So that's in the shop. And I do still have pumpkin eggnog, which smells amazing. And they're huge bars, really tall. Um, so I do have more of those. And I have two new scents for this year. And the first new one is Twigs and Berries. And this makes an amazing candle also. We, uh, me and Earl made some... We didn't make a candle, we actually made the tart, the tart burners, tart melt. And um, it smells so good. So we will be making some candles with this scent too because it's, it's really, really nice. And another new soap is the um, Apples and Oak. It to me, it more smells like apples than it does oak. The oak would be um, really light, so it's more apples. What it smells like to me is, you know those um, strawberry shortcake dolls that we used to have when we were little? And uh, they had like the lemon meringue doll, the blueberry, the strawberry shortcake. And I guess, I don't know if there was an apple one or not, but if there was, it would smell like this. It's just a really nice um, tart apple smell. It smells really, really good. And both men and women like this scent, so I try to do it to where um, you know, it wasn't too, too girly. There's no glitter on top or anything. Really, really nice. Another one that's been a big hit locally, which is a surprise, because it, it's kind of weird sometimes what you see, what people like online as, to, as opposed to what they like locally. And a big hit locally has been the um, dandelion dust, which didn't do good online at all, but locally... The men like the um, that scent, so that's kind of surprising. Um, and it's funny how some scents will do really good both online and locally, like the Dragon's Blood Rose does really good. Tricks for Treat does really good. Pumpkin Eggnog does really good. Anything pumpkin does really good, whether it's local or online. It's uh, kind of neat to see. Anyway, so there are some of the soaps that I have, and I, I've got a ton more um to show you too, uh, but I'll, I'll leave that for another video. I just want to see how this video downloads because I've been having so much trouble with video and sound. Um, okay, and then here's a new poop that I have not listed yet. This one is the um, Autumn Pumpkin. It's the uh, Autumn Pumpkin Paisley. So I have this one. This is a big poop. And it's got the cream underside and then the Pumpkin Paisley and then kind of a, um, a goldish copper looking to hold it and if you've um, not used one of these poofs to apply your powder you don't know what you're missing I mean it's just so plush and so nice and so soft the little ones are really nice too but um, the big ones are, are really really nice okay so there's that and then the second thing I want to show you is I just ordered 300 boxes so that um, I want to start doing some little um, like gift sets and stuff, especially for Christmas. I'll have some for fall too. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to. I'm probably going to use these little boxes for several different things. I got these boxes from Uline. Uline shipping I know has gone. It seemed like the shipping has gone up and they're not as fast. So I don't order from them as much as what I used to. I try to get my stuff more locally than uh, going to Uline. Um, they used to ship like that day. I don't know how they did that, but they did that day or the next day. But now it's like it takes a few days and their shipping is a lot more. So anyway, um, so I have this little box here. And it looks very similar to our the bigger box that we have that, I, that you guys might have seen. It's got a little bit of stripes here. It's a little bit ribbed kind of. Um, it's uh, just the same exact box except this one's a little bit more lower profile. So I'll be using that for, I don't know, little like little sets and stuff, or probably um, bath melts um, and little bubble bar sets and stuff like that. So I got that one. 
Oh, and then I'll be using that also for something I'm going to do a video on and show you. Well, probably I'll use all these boxes for it. Um, and then here I've got, they come like this flat in a box of 100. And then you just kind of flap them over. Pop the little flaps in there. Like that. And then this one's a, a very low pr profile, wider box. And we'll be using this. This fits our, um, the powder poofs, the small powder poofs perfectly. I don't think I'll be getting boxes for the larger powder poofs because um, they're so large. I mean, it'd be so hard to ship those in big old boxes like that. But I can get round boxes, like the round powder powder boxes that I get, the uh, black ones and the white ones, those will fit the powder poofs and I can mail mail them that way. Um, and I do sell those separately. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that I do have these ones. It just makes it really nice, um, especially for gift giving and stuff. So I do have these in now. I had a few people ask about that. So I do have them. And then I'm going to be doing like the little gift set so that you can choose like gift wrapping or whatever. So I'll be doing like a, a you know, Kind of like if you've ever ordered from Swiss Colony and how they have the, the boxes stacked and they have the ribbon up and around in a big bow here and then with all kinds of goodies inside. I want to do something like that. Um, but then I also want to um, I also want to add this for the uh, for a gift wrapping option and then also have sets pre-made that you can get too. And I've got tons and tons and tons of wrapping paper that I've that I've collected over the the years over two or three years, really nice wrapping paper, and then some new stuff too that I want to make the sets out of. So I'll be looking forward to these. And I think that's it. I haven't done a video in so long, I'm afraid to cut this short. But it kind of sounds like it's not going to have sound. I'm so used to it echoing. Uh, maybe I'll ramble on a little while since... Uh, since I'm scared that it's not going to let me do a video again. Um, you know that skirt a while back, some of you might have seen that. It actually was jeans, two pairs of jeans I had made into a skirt, custom made. I had a lady in my church make it for me. Well, um, and they ended up being a little bit too tight. Well, now that I know how to um, how it all works and how that stuff's sewn together and stuff, because I, I chose pants that were a little bit too tight on me, thinking if it was made into a skirt, it would make it bigger and it would fit. But, <coughs> no, that's not the case. The, the pants have to fit you comfortably so that when she makes it into a skirt, it'll, it will fit you comfortably. If it's too small, the skirt, the end result will not fit you. Or if the pants are too big, the end result is the skirt's probably going to be too big. But I did find a lady online. I am going to do a video haul for her. Um, I guess you'd call it a haul. I only got one skirt for her from her. But she did make me, she is making two for Ariel, and then she's kind of fixing a skirt that I already have. I wanted some length added to it. She's making some stuff. But I wanted to share with you, this is her card. These are some of the skirts that she makes. <laughs> what you can do is send her a pair of jeans, and she'll make it into a skirt. She's got all different kinds of styles. Let me show it so that you can see it. And I believe her name is Cher. And then she has this here on how to do it. Oh, that's really clear. How, how to send it in to her and stuff, which is really nice because if you want to, and the skirts are so comfortable. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable and super cute. And um, you could get like if you, you know, because you can't ever find like a nice jean skirt. Like if you want, let's say, like a Levi skirt or a Wrangler skirt or whatever, and you can find the jeans all day long, um, but you can't find a nice skirt. And she can do it whatever length you want. You know, if you want it like, you know, to the knee or to wherever, she can she can custom make it for you, which is nice. So what I really like, what me and Ariel really like is you can go to the, to a thrift store, thrift the thrift store, like a Goodwill or something, and go through their jeans. And sometimes they got some jeans that are like brand new, like. There was a really cute pair for Ariel. It was $10. It was a pair of guest jeans. They were like brand spanking new. It was so nice. Very cute, unique style already. So I was thinking made into a skirt. 
it'd be very cute and unique, like something that no one else has. Um, so check her out, and there again, I will show the skirt that she made me, it's adorable, but I've been wearing it, so it's probably, it's all baggy now, it's going to look a lot bigger than what it already, already does. Um, but there's that, check her out, she's on Etsy, she, and she does have a Facebook too, and she posts a lot of stuff, her new skirts, different things that she's made. Um, yeah, she, she does really good, good work. You can buy stuff that she's already got in her shop, or you can, like I said, send her a pair of jeans, and she'll turn it into, like, something custom created just for you. Okay, and then here is this, just for fun. I don't know if this is the same one I showed you last time, Poker Supply Goat Magazine. I think this is a new one, though, because, from what I showed you last time, because, uh, look at these shirts they have. I want some of those shirts. Those are cute. Um, <coughs> but they have a whole thing on soap making. They got soap making books. They've got a. Uh, oh, these are so cute. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? They got this jacket. Let's see. What's some other stuff I can show you? Uh, <laughs> little hat. And then they got the card. I want to do this someday. Look, this is so cute. I showed this last time when I showed a Hoger magazine. You can get the little stagecoach and a little harness. So that way I can deliver your guys packages <laughs> to the post office in that. <laughs> um, let's see what else. I was going to show you the soap stuff. They got yogurt makers in here. They got molds in here. They have soap stamps. They got fragrance oils now, essential oils. what else they have. Looks like they got some pretty nice stuff as far as scales and bowls. Yeah, here. Soap making. Wow, they got recipes in here. They have uh, butters in here, coconut oil. Is uh, $7.95 per quart. Natural cocoa butter, $9.95 per pound. Shea nut butter, $9.95 per pound. Palm oil, $6.95 per quart. Sweet almond, $13.95 per quart. Olive oil, $7.95 per quart. Um, Nature's Garden got some pretty good prices on some of that stuff that I just mentioned. <clears throat> I don't think they're that great on their cocoa butter or their shea butter. They're okay. I wish they'd sell it by the pound. They don't sell it by the pound. They sell it by like the 10 ounce or something. But they're okay. I wish they'd get a little bit better on that. I and mean, that'd be great. Because they're really good on their sweet almond oil. Um, okay. Hopefully this is still recording. Looks like it is. They've got scales in here. Let's see. I need the scales for something else. Oh, let me look. Oh, yeah. They have these. That's some pretty nice stuff. It's like molds, soap cutters, molds. They have those soap molds that um, you can kind of unscrew of them. So if your soap gets stuck, you can get it out. All kinds of stuff in here. I got to make butter, cheese making. All kinds of stuff. 
anyway, okay, I'm going to see if this, uh, whoops, if this recorded. Hopefully it did. And um, if it does, I'll do another quick video, and then I got to get to work. All right, bye.